Hello. Oh. Hello, my name is Pete Fernandez and this is my 15 inch obsession telescope. Um, it has pretty much all the bells and whistles you can have on the scope. It has several cat, Argo Navis, the ultimate uh, digital setting circles. It has a uh, dual heater. It has the um, Howie Glader. Uh, mirror support sling. It's very difficult to see, but it's the ultimate for mirror support. I highly recommend it to anybody who has a dob. Um, on the other collimation screws in the fan. Oh yeah, we have collimation screws, fan on the opposite end. We have our. I have a secondary heater. And that's have, the jack for the heater right, right there. That's the jack for the heater. And I power it only when I need it. It's very rare that this, this mirror, the secondary error dues up. When it does, I just plug in a cable. I have a uh, power, a power of, And you only run the heater for 10 minutes or so and then you turn it off. Right? Yeah, 10, 20 minutes, that's it. There's enough residual heat to keep it dew free for the rest of the night. Again, it's rare. Once or twice a year, I ever, ever have to use it. So this minor obstruction, which is like another vein, will only be there momentarily, and I never even notice it. Um, we have the servo cat controls here. That black box is the servo cat wireless RS232, which allows you to connect your PC wirelessly to the servo cat Argo Nevis and have it totally under control of your favorite planetary software that runs on your laptop. So it's, wi it's a wireless connection? Yeah, wireless connection. No wow. cables. Okay. You can be about 100 feet away from the, from the scope and uh, it'll work. Um, you have, of course, Argo Nevis. And if you like to see it slew, I think we're set to go to M17. You just hit the go to button and she'll start slowing. And as you can see, it's in pristine condition. I'm the original owner. My name is on the plaque. But I suppose you can take the plaque and have your name engraved in it if you like. down this other end and you can look at the mirror. The mirror is in excellent condition. It's a Taurus mirror. Excellent mirror. And um, we can slew to another object if we like. We'll slew to let's go out in Yes, here, M1, let's go to M13, M13, enter, you hit the go to, and so slow. It's really quiet. And she'll beep when she gets the object. There's a beep, and she's tracking at this point. And again, as you can see, we'll walk around the telescope. It just, this scope is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I purchased the scope back in late 2002. I upgraded to Servocat Cat in late 2004. And uh, I've taken very good care of this piece of equipment. It's very, very nice. And the optics are A1. Uh, is that it? Okay, cut.